Hey folks, welcome back to the Military Uniform Supply YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at the POW MIA bracelets that you can find on our website and give a little bit of a short history behind them. Now do keep in mind that we are not able to provide custom information for these. They are random, but they do represent a soldier that never made it home from the Korean or Vietnam War. So let's take a closer look. So the idea for POW bracelets originated in 1970. Carol Bates Brown and Kay Hunter were college students looking to support U.S. troops in Vietnam without being involved in the controversy of demonstrations and protests. Through their student group Voices in Vital America, they were able to distribute millions of bracelets and other memorabilia nationwide. So the original idea of these bracelets is that they were to be worn to honor and increase awareness of POW MIA soldiers. Traditionally, these bracelets were to be worn until the POW returned to the United States, at which time the bracelet would be presented to the former prisoner. Of course, as we well know, a lot of the POWs and MIA from these two wars never did make it home. Now, while supplies are limited, we still have three different styles of these bracelets on our website, militaryuniformsupply.com. We have the blue aluminum that represents the Korean War, the red aluminum that represents the Vietnam War, and the silver stainless steel, which is also Vietnam War. So let's take a closer look at these. Here is a bracelet for BM3 Robert E. Sawyers from the U.S. Navy went missing in 1952 in Korea and originally from West Virginia. And again, the blue aluminum for Korea. Here we have Major Herbert W. Moore, U.S. Air Force, went missing in 1967, originally from Pennsylvania. And this is a red Vietnam aluminum bracelet. And then this one is for Major Calvin W. Maxwell, of the U.S. Army went missing in 1969 and originally from the state of New Mexico. And again, the silver is the stainless steel as opposed to the aluminum of the red and the blue. Now these are easy to put on your wrist. You are going to need to bend them out a little bit to adjust for sizing. And then once you have it around your wrist, just simply clasp back into place and there you go. So those are the POW MIA bracelets that we have available on our website, militaryuniformsupply.com. Now supplies are limited, and I do need to remind you once again that we are unable to personalize or customize these for you. They do come pre-printed, representing a fallen hero or a soldier that never made it home from the Korean or Vietnam War. Now, if you're interested in taking a closer look at these, I will put a link in the description below. In the meantime, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We have all kinds of great stuff and future videos coming very soon. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.